Good evening once again. Thank you for joining us on this Friday. As you finalize your back to school prep, will a cell phone make the cut in your children's backpack this year? Well, tonight we are exploring what can be a difficult choice for parents and school leaders. While well, two Western New York districts have already made their own decisions about this, Wellsville and Albion will both ban students from having phones in the classroom this year. Phones are not allowed in the Albion Elementary and Middle School buildings, while high schoolers are barred from using them during class. In Wellsville, students will not be allowed to carry phones around. Leaders there citing concerns, including mental health and bullying. Well, we know this can be a very controversial policy, and it's important that we share perspectives from multiple sides and backgrounds with you. So that's why tonight you will hear from the Wellsville superintendent about the district's decision. A child psychologist who says phones should be a privilege and two parents on either side of the debate who shared their views with our Jordan Johnson. I don't think the kids should have access to them during the school day, especially social media, things like that. I think it's completely unnecessary. Because I think my son should have the capability to be able to access his phone in case of an emergency. To have or not to have, that's the big question when it comes to cell phones in the classroom. Check out this stat. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, more than 70% of schools across the U.S. banned the use of cell phones among students. And a district 90 miles from the Queen City is doing just that. I spoke with District Superintendent David Foster of Wellsville about why he feels a ban is necessary. The students uh, would have their cell phones off during the day in the, and in lockers. Um, and then when they go home, they would uh, take them out. And a big piece of the story is also parents. I caught up with two moms who have very different opinions on cell phone bans. Here's Melanie Smith and why she thinks her 12 year old son should be allowed to have his phone in class. Why? Um, in case there's ever an emergency and he needed to get a hold of me and the teacher wasn't for some reason not able to be there for him or I couldn't get a hold of the teacher and I needed to get a hold of him or vice versa, he needed to get a hold of me. Um, obviously it would be in the case of an emergency and he would know the difference between an emergency and non-emergency. But mom Sydney Gall thinks otherwise, telling me adults often can't put down their cell phones so expecting kids to do it isn't realistic. Hard enough as an adult managing your cell phone usage, but to put that expectation onto a student to learn how to have that self-control and discipline, I don't think is wise. So is there a common ground here? I sat down with child psychologist Keith Klosterman, who tells me these conversations should start at home and come with guidelines. Having that conversation up front about, well, look, if you're going to bring the phone to school, here are the rules, right? Or here are the guidelines around using it. If you don't use it in a responsible manner at school, well, then you're probably not going to be able to bring it. We talked about this hot topic Friday morning on Second Cup, and here's what you had to say. Peter says students should only use their cell phones during free time, while Carrie says some classes should have phones checked in and others should let students use their phones. Kelly says these days she feels more secure knowing that her child has their phone. And Janet says she has seen teachers let students use their phones as a resource if they don't have laptops. But let's continue this conversation. Why don't you head over to my Facebook page and tell me how you feel about cell phones being banned in schools. Jordan Johnson, 7 News.